I was stuck. I was stuck in a revolving door of gear, buying instruments, hoping that they would bring the inspiration that I was looking for, hoping to find the next new song in it, hoping that they would break me out of a rut. And I'd play it for a while, and it would sit on the rack, and I'd sell it. And round and round I went, until I saw a musician named Kelly Joe Phelps play his resonator guitar from stage. And what I witnessed was a guitar that could stand toe to toe with one of the most amazing musicians I'd ever seen. And not only that, but it felt like those songs were there because of the power of that instrument. That instrument had led him to that spot. And I left knowing what I had to do. I had to make these tools for musicians. But historically, resonator guitars were kind of stuck in one corner of the music world. Slide setup and blues guitar, and that was it. And so what I, I wanted to hear what, what everybody else could find in the sound. And so here at Mule, our resonator guitars are set up like normal acoustic guitars. Slide setup just means that it's a guitar with action that is so high you can't do anything on it but play slide but you that's not necessary to play slide guitar all that's necessary is a slide that fits in practice and with a normal guitar setup what you can do is play anything that you feel inspired to in that moment and that's a really important thing the nut is an inch and three quarter wide like the majority of acoustic guitars so that when you're switching from guitar to guitar it doesn't throw you uh, the neck profile is shaped like a hand. It's not shaped like a letter of the alphabet. Your hand and my hand are basically the same shape. And when you shape it ergonomically like that, whether you like thick necks or thin necks, or this shape or that shape, you're going to feel something that you recognize. And after handing a guitar to thousands of people over the last decade at guitar shows, the number one thing the first thing that they say is this is the best neck I've ever felt. That's not me being overly confident, that's just the fact of, of being in that experience and, and hearing what people have to say. Um, the bodies are made out of stainless steel, um, so even though that there's a patina on there that makes it look unique to your guitar, um, you don't have to do anything to it, it's not going to rust, it's not rust. and. Um, and it'll look that way for the life of the instrument. And all of our metal-bodied instruments are tricone guitars, and inside there is our special uh, machined T-bridge. It's machined from a billet of aluminum instead of cast aluminum um, like they have been historically. With the tricone sound, it, with the, especially with the F-holes, um, you get a sound that is that has the attack of a single cone, but but the sweetness of a tricone, um, and it's, so it's a really versatile sound. The finish we use on the neck is a finish called Osmo. It's an oil and wax based finish that feels like wood. It feels like what you're playing. It's not going to stick to your hand. It doesn't feel like plastic and it's extremely durable. They use it on floors. It's strong enough to walk on so it'll last the life of the instrument. All of our headstocks are slot headstocks. There's no special winding or tying required. You string them up just like a normal steel string guitar. You can get these instruments with or without a pickup. The pickup that we use are our own mule tom thumbuckers. They're a low output mini humbucker and they're microphonic enough that it sounds like the instrument that it's amplifying. There's a misconception that you need an acoustic guitar pickup in order for it to sound like a guitar. The, the mini humbucker is a great pickup for these because you get a lot of gain before feedback and it also represents the instrument itself. My name is Matt Ike and I started mule 11 years ago with the purpose of getting these unique music tools to musicians. Get them a sound that they haven't heard before and see what happens. And it's been my absolute joy to, to see where these guitars have gone, the songs that they've been a part of, and the community that has gathered around these instruments. It was, it was an unexpected joy to connect with so many different people in a really substantial way. It's more than just guitars, it's more than just stuff. 
it's people it's this common interest and um, whether we're going out on the road with the mule bus or we're going to a concert or we're at shows um, through this process through buying an instrument this way from these eight guys up in Saginaw Michigan who make these steel body resonator guitars um, people connect with each other in a really special and unique way and I and I really appreciate you um, uh, your interest in these instruments. If you have any questions, send me an email, muleresonators at gmail.com, and uh, we can answer those for you. Um, if you're interested in purchasing a guitar, uh, go to the Buy Guitars tab, scroll down to the resonator uh, button, and then you'll put in your $250 deposit. There's more information about the process and the build pictures that you'll get throughout um, through the build process, and, uh, pricing, and wait time there as well. So thanks again for your interest in these uh, instruments and um, we'll talk soon.